Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jasmine if you're new here and welcome to another video. Make sure you subscribe and join the family because I would love to have you guys here. So as you can see from the title below, today I am back with another soft glam moment but with a twist, with a little pop of color, okay? I noticed that you guys do prefer more soft glam looks but since we're going into more hotter temperatures, we're getting into that summer vibes, I wanted to show you guys how you can incorporate color into your eye look while still making them wearable. So yeah, that's pretty much the vibes that we're gonna be going for today but before I go ahead and zoom you guys in closer and we get into this beat a portion of today's video is actually sponsored by glam eye shout out to them if you guys have never heard of glam eye before they're pretty much an AI beauty assistant app to Sephora and it provides personalized recommendations for all of your beauty needs this is a really good app for those of you guys who are maybe let's say beginners when it comes to makeup and have a little hard time maneuvering the Sephora website this can help you narrow down your search so I actually went ahead and did that a few days ago off camera I did a screen recording of my whole process I'm gonna insert my screen recording on this side of the screen for you guys you can see that little blue icon which says AI search it's the taste search you're gonna click on that and then it will help you choose how you can search for a certain product let's say you want to look for something more specific you can go ahead and say like I'm looking for a super coverage concealer and it will pull up everything that you searched basically it will give you over 6,600 different options that you can choose from it has subcategories it has like let's say right here it says you know for certain occasions it has 170 options that you can choose and then it has style where you can choose to recreate you know celebrity makeup looks which a lot of people are more into nowadays and then you have concerns which is really great for either makeup concerns as well as skincare concerns so you can really see how many options you have that this app can assist you with so what I did was I clicked on the taste search I hit pick and then as you can see in the subcategory it already has a few listed there so I clicked on color corrector because the biggest thing that I've been wanting to grab for a while now is a good color corrector. For a long time, I was using the MAC Prep and Prime Peach Luster color corrector underneath the eyes. And then I ran out of it and I really wanted to take the time to try a new color corrector, find a new favorite, you know? So that's what I'm going to use the Glam Eye app for today and see, you know, what other options I have there for me. So it's saying that it has 87 results. So I'm going to go ahead and click results. So what I did was I started to scroll down to see what my options are. And then I found the Bobbi Brown under eye corrector and I actually remembered one of my girls on my social climate team Natalie you guys should definitely check out her videos she's an amazing content creator was actually recommending this color corrector on her Instagram stories so it was always on the back of my mind to try this once I ran out of my Mac color corrector so this is the perfect time so I'm gonna go ahead and just check out the shades you can just scroll down and see what shades will work for you so I went ahead and selected dark peach as you can see that looks like a really good shade match I feel like that will blend in with my skin very well so I'm gonna go ahead and click shop at Sephora and then I'm gonna hit add to basket so I went ahead this time and click keyboard because I wanted to do a specific search typed in lash glue and clicked taste search and then as you can see it's showing me all the products that I can go ahead and choose from and right there I see the velour lash adhesive the clear one I prefer the clear one I don't like to use black lash glue and then I'm gonna hit shop at Sephora just like I did earlier it's gonna take me to the Sephora website and then I'm gonna hit add to basket as well and that's pretty much how I made my purchase I waited two days literally Sephora's shipping speed is everything okay I've got my lash glue and I got my color corrector so I am all set to beat my face today so shout out to glam eye for making this process so smooth for me to restock on my products please go ahead and check out the app yourself I'm gonna have the links in the description box below where you can go ahead and download the app see how easy it is and just make your your Sephora experience a lot more easier. So yeah, with that being said, since I have my products, I'm gonna zoom you guys in closer because we're all set to beat this face. So let's get to it. I'm gonna use two palettes today because I really wanna tap into this Charlotte Tilbury palette. This is their luxury color-coded eyeshadow palette in the shade Green Lights. And as you can see from the shades that are in the palette, they're very soft green tones, which I feel like is perfect for this soft glam look. We want it to be, again, a wearable pop of color, right? So. I feel like it's gonna look very beautiful in the end. But since it's an all shimmer palette, I need the extra help of another palette to bring in those matte tones. So I'm gonna go in with the Huda Beauty Chocolate Palette. And you guys know how much I was loving when she launched these brown obsession palettes because they are definitely a vibe, okay? So I'm gonna start off with this shade right over here as my transition color. And then I wanna go in with this dark brown to intensify the crease. And then we're gonna dive into the Charlotte Tilbury palette. So I'm gonna start off by picking up this brush from Spectrum Cosmetics. This is their 
B06 brush and I'm gonna pick up that brown shade just like I mentioned and then I'm gonna start from the outer corner and just begin to work my way in. And now that we have that all blended out, like I mentioned, we're gonna go back into the Huda Beauty palette and pick up this shade right over here. And I'm gonna pick that up on my Sigma Small Tapered Blending Brush. This is their E45 brush. And I'm pretty much doing the exact same thing where I'm starting from the outer corner and just working my way in. All right guys, so I just went ahead and carved out my crease off camera because you guys already know the drill. I went in with my Sigma eyeshadow base to prep for our shimmer. I love doing this because I really feel like it helps make my eyeshadow color pop more, you know what I mean? So I'm gonna go in with the Charlotte Tilbury palette now and I'm gonna use this brush from Sigma as well. This is their eye shading E55 brush and I'm gonna go ahead and pick up this shade right over here because it's just speaking to me guys. It just looks so beautiful and shimmery in the palette. So that's what I'm gonna use today. So now that we have this beautiful subtle green shimmer popped on the lid as you guys can see so now i'm gonna go back into the huda beauty palette and i'm gonna go back into this dark brown shade that you guys can see right over here and start to blend that into the outer corner so everything blends in seamlessly i really want this look to be very easy to do very simple but it still makes a statement basically Alright guys, so I'm happy with how the eye looks right now. I'm gonna go in with the rest of my base routine real quick. So I'm gonna start off with primer and I'm gonna be taking this one by Huda Beauty. This is their Water Jelly Hydrating Primer. It's actually such a fire primer, so I need to start using it more often and I feel like it's perfect for this time of year because it's so nice and lightweight. It gives that hydration, that glowy look underneath your foundation. So now that we're all primed, I'm gonna go in with the Bobbi Brown Color Corrector. Finally, I'm so excited to see if it's worth the hype guys as i mentioned earlier i got the shade dark peach so hopefully this shade looks good on and i'm gonna be using my spectrum a06 brush to blend that out so i'm just gonna go ahead and pick up some of that product and just start to pack it underneath the eye first so it's definitely a brighter shade of peach when i apply it onto my skin than i was expecting but i think it works perfectly guys like on camera it really did block out that dark circle that i have like look at the before and look at the after. I am really impressed so far for our first impressions. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. So I'm gonna go ahead and just start to do the same on the other eye. And I'm also going to bring some of the corrector on my chin area because this is where my foundation tends to oxidize real quick. So I'm gonna use it there as well just to cancel out the shadow that my hyperpigmentation creates. seeing the coverage that this just gave me i'm shook but the true test is how it sits with my foundation and my concealer the foundation i'm gonna go in with is by huda beauty and this is her full filter skin finish buildable coverage foundation stick i love this formula it's perfect for this time of year because it's so lightweight on the skin so i'm just gonna go ahead and apply some of that all over and i actually used this foundation not too long ago on my mom and guys it was literally chef's kiss on my mom's skin like it blended in like butter so if you guys are making Makeup artists out there definitely add this foundation into your kit and now i'm just going ahead and blending that in with my elf cosmetics brush this is their complexion dual brush you guys already know how much i love this brush So as you can see, my foundation is looking flawless. I'm so happy with how glowy it's looking. So I'm gonna go in with my Too Faced Concealer. You guys already know the drill, but I'm gonna take the shade Cookie this time because I really wanna brighten underneath the eye so that the eye look pops more, you know what I mean? And I'm just gonna go underneath the eye just like that. This is like the perfect shade that I can use to highlight that doesn't give me flashback still, you know what I mean? So it's like right on the cusp of brightening but not having you look crazy, okay? So I'm just gonna go ahead and just apply it in the those areas like I always do just to lift the eye and then I'm gonna go ahead and blend it out and set it with my milk makeup translucent medium powder like I always do my favorite powder for underneath the eyes hands down so that's what I'm gonna go ahead and do now Now 
that our under eyes are all set and concealed, I'm gonna go in with some bronzer. You guys already know the drill. We're going in with my sis, Charlotte Dobry, and I was dying because one of you guys actually mentioned in a previous video of mine, you left a comment saying, sis, you don't need to tell us, we already know, Charlotte Dobry. And I was just dying sitting back reading that comment because I was just like, you guys get me. You get me so much, okay? But anyway, so I'm just gonna go ahead and start to blend that out and add some warmth back into the skin. Alright guys, so bronzer is on and then I just went ahead with my setting spray duo that you guys see me use all the time. My Iconic London Prep Set and Glow Original Setting Spray as well as my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray to really lock it in for a long period of time. This one really helps my foundation from like oxidizing, just staying put for a while. I'm gonna go in with this highlighter by Too Faced. I've actually been gravitating towards it a lot these past few days. I think it just looks so nice on the skin. This is their Honey Bun Glow low highlighter. I mean, it's supposed to be a bronzer. It says bear it all bronzer, but I use it as a highlight because it literally is so shimmery. I'm just gonna go ahead and start to apply that on with my Sigma Soft Blend 10 brush. Let's get some on the nose first. You guys know I love a good nose highlight. And yeah, guys, that's pretty much all I'm gonna do for the base. Now I'm gonna move on to finishing off the eye look. I'm not gonna smoke out my lower lash line because I don't want this look to be a smoky eye look because I kind of feel like it would defeat the whole purpose of my whole wearable look that I'm going for. If you smoke it out, who's really going out with a smoky eye during the day? Do you get what I'm saying? That's more of a nighttime look. So I'm just gonna complete the eye with some mascara and some eyeliner and some falsies that will just, you know, make it look bomb. And I'm gonna go in with this eyeliner by Too Faced. You guys already know these are my favorite eyeliners to use on my waterline. This is their killer liner in the shade Expresso. It's a beautiful shade of brown so when I don't want to go for a black liner that's too harsh I love to go in with this shade. I'm just gonna go ahead with some of that on my waterline just like that and as you can see it's super pigmented so you don't even have to apply a lot of product to get that color pale. And for mascara I'm gonna go in with this one by Charlotte Tilbury. This is her Pillow Top Push Up Lashes. I like this for when I'm going in with falsies because it's not too thick and and I can just get a nice light quilt and plop on my falsies and it helps to really blend it in. So that's what I'm gonna go ahead and use now. All right guys, so I'm back, lashes are on and can you see this eye look? Can you take a minute? To appreciate how fire this looks I mean I'm obsessed I'm so happy with it the lashes that I went in with are by Aisha cosmetics in the style 846 and honestly I just love how they complement this eye look and I also went in with my velour lash glue that I got from my glam eye purchase so that's a win as well so now we're gonna complete the vibe with lipstick and I'm gonna go in with this Huda Beauty lip liner that's become my favorite right now this is her lip contour or her lip contour 2.0 in the shade rich brown the way this just glides on the lips oh i'm obsessed okay so i'm just gonna go ahead and apply that and then i'm gonna go over it with my maven beauty lipstick and this is in the shade flex i feel like it's gonna give a really nice brown lip Alright guys, and this is the final lip. Let me know what you think in the comment section below because I am obsessed with this brown moment. I kind of feel like I've been going for nudes a lot lately, so I wanted to switch it up and I'm really happy with how it looks. I think it complements the eye look really well. And yeah, I'm just so happy with how it turned out. I cannot wait to take pictures of this look because I feel like it's a vibe and hopefully you guys will vibe with it as well. If you made it all the way to the end of this video, thank you so much for watching. You are a gem, you are appreciated. Make sure you hit the subscribe button if you're new here and join the family okay because i would love to have you here turn on your bell notification so you don't miss out on any of my uploads and also make sure you leave a comment down below if you guys are vibing with this look let your sis know and also let me know what other looks you guys would like to see from me and i will keep them coming thank you again for watching and like always i'll see you in my next video